Today I'm replaying Patrick Mahomes' college career and attempting to win everything with him. He's starting off as a freshman as a 79 overall at Texas Tech, but I still have to complete all of these challenges by the end of the video, and if I fail to complete any of those seven challenges, I'm giving away a Patrick Mahomes jersey to one of you all. I'm going to be solely focusing on leading the country in touchdowns in his freshman season, and hopefully if I can't win a championship at Texas Tech, another school will let Mahomes transfer there to complete the challenge. Beating Bo Nix in Oregon would have been a massive of upset for him, but it wasn't looking likely, especially since he can't control his massive cannon of an arm yet. It's going to be pretty difficult to complete any of the challenges in his freshman season, but he was pretty good at throwing for touchdown passes, so again, I'll be targeting leading the country in that, and after coming off a loss at TCU, he tore apart Texas State as he threw for touchdown after touchdown against them. I mean, this guy's future is bright, and he might even become a good NFL quarterback one day, but for now, he's just a college kid that can thread the needle, and it showed because by the end of the game, he was responsible for seven of the Red Raiders' scores. By week nine, he was second in the country for everything, and that's only because of Sam Hartman, but he still needed to pass him up, and there were only five games left in the year. Oklahoma was having a much better season in revamp than they did in real life, but Patrick Mahomes was trying to ruin that as he fought to lead the country in passing touchdowns. However, with a minute left, his team was trailing the Sooners by five points, so he needed to put together a money drive, and that's exactly what he did as he shocked the home crowd. After a couple more games, Mahomes only had one left, and he had to have a huge one to complete some challenges, but Texas was standing in the way. He could lead the country in both passing yards and touchdowns with a great performance, so with that in mind, Patrick Mahomes started slinging it across the field as he wanted to pad his stats today with big plays, and he got off to a great start. Every touchdown he threw in this one was so incredibly important, and even though he was still just just a freshman, whenever he did stuff like this, it was clear he was going to be a very special talent. This catch fortunately crossed just over the opposing goal line, and with a minute and a half left, Mahomes threw for his fourth touchdown, which was enough to lead the country in them, but not enough to be number one in passing yards, so only one of the seven challenges was completed in his freshman year. Obviously, he didn't win the Heisman, but he did have quite the offseason, so 99 overall felt like a real possibility as long as he kept playing well during the year to upgrade himself. The main challenge I was focusing on though was getting Patrick Mahomes a Big 12 championship and if he completed other things while winning one that would be ideal. After annihilating UTSA in his first game and running through North Texas in the second one, he was ready to face off against BYU, one of the new Big 12 teams where he continued to find wide receiver Loich Fungi. He was certainly his favorite target on this Texas Tech team and the duo opened up conference play with a big win. The following week Patrick Mahomes was hoping that success could continue against Cincinnati, and he started connecting with tight end Baylor Cup as well. Despite playing with an average roster, he was dotting up, and the Red Raiders were on a roll, so going into a matchup of two undefeated teams, he was confident that he could get his team a massive win, and as he started to take off more, he became unstoppable. This game wasn't even ever much of a contest because Patrick Mahomes was starting to break out, and now he was up to a 90 overall along with sneaking onto the Heisman watch list, so multiple challenges might be completed this season. Obviously, he was far from being a perfect quarterback still, but he was really good for being just a sophomore, and it seemed like more times than not, his teammates were the ones that were holding him back. After taking down Iowa State, I felt like Patrick Mahomes was allergic to losing, but he was only halfway through the season, and a lot can happen. However, even though Houston was ranked in the top 25, they didn't even come close to taking him down, and clearly, Patrick Mahomes has been cooking on the field, and off the field, I was doing cooking of my own. I tried Factor for the first time, and since it came fresh, and all I had to do was put it in the microwave, it made for the perfect meal while I'm pumping out content. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes, which is perfect for busy lifestyles, and meal plans range from 4 to 18 meals per week. You can add more or reduce the number depending on your specific needs, and you can easily skip a week if you need to, so I love switching between using Factor and HelloFresh. Anyways, if you go to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code BOARD50, you'll get 50% off your first Factor box, so make sure you go to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code BOARD50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Now, let's get right back to Patrick Mahomes. Holmes college career. At this point in the season, Texas Tech was ranked in the top 10, and it seemed like there was no team that could stop Patrick Mahomes. However, after taking down UCF on the road, things were about to get tough. USC was undefeated and ranked as the best team in the country, so Patrick Mahomes couldn't make any mistakes, yet he still did, and
and by the fourth quarter, it was clear that the Trojans were just on another level. Unfortunately, nobody on the Red Raiders seemed to be on the same page today, and this loss might hurt playoff hopes, but at least it doesn't affect the conference standings. This game against Oklahoma State was so important, yet still, it took almost three quarters for Mahomes and his offense to wake up, which ended up being a huge problem after the ball slipped out of his hands while he tried to get into the end zone. All he could do was watch as his defense let the Cowboys run out the clock, and he was starting to see the limits of being stuck at Texas Tech. Fortunately, making the Big 12 championship was still possible, but it would take more than it should have to do so, and with 46 seconds left, the game and the season was in Patrick Mahomes' hands, and he was very composed in the pocket, always making the right play, so it's no shock that he clutched up in the end, and assuming he wins his last game, he'll have a chance to bring a conference championship to Texas Tech, which would complete one of the challenges. Once again, he did just enough to get the right result, and now it was time for the Big 12 championship where Patrick Mahomes had three picks at the half, yet still his team remained in the game, and with a minute and a half left, he needed to put together a money drive where he made sure that he was doing everything in his power to fight for every last yard. That sheer determination ended up resulting in the game-winning throw as Patrick Mahomes got Texas Tech a Big Ten championship and he even led the country in passing yards but it wasn't enough to win the Heisman Trophy so only three of the seven challenges were completed so far. However, after another incredible offseason, he transferred to USC to have a better chance at completing the rest of the challenges which in itself completed one of them. The Trojans were coming off a national championship and with Caleb Williams going on to the draft, Patrick Mahomes came in at the perfect time where he got off to a great start. The team surrounding him set him up perfectly to have a Heisman year at USC, and Mario Williams was already one of his favorite targets. Mahomes was set to tear apart the Big Ten, and unfortunately for Michigan State, today they were on the receiving end of that. Coming off of back-to-back -back games with five touchdowns, Patty was likely to slow down against Rutgers, and unfortunately that was the case as he kept turning the ball over, but even with multiple mistakes, he still kept the Trojan ahead and honestly get a comfortable win which shows how good this team is. The transfer decision was paying off so far but against Northwestern it took a while for Patrick Mahomes to get things going so this game with one touchdown could really hurt his Heisman odds and he had to bounce back when the Gophers came to town. Midway through the second quarter he threw the perfect ball to find his receiver in the end zone and he just continued to put the ball exactly where it needed to be. Patrick Mahomes team's defense didn't have a good day giving up 35 points, but he still carried them the victory, and there was a good chance he could keep the Trojans undefeated all season. For most of his college career, he stayed in the pocket, but now he was starting to scramble as well, and that was making him even more of a threat and harder to contain. Illinois ended up being another victim to one of Patrick Mahomes' blow up games as he went for four touchdowns, yet he wasn't on the Heisman watch list for some reason, so that just meant he would have to put up even more touchdowns to get in the race. He started off against Nebraska with an early two in the first, and that was honestly just the beginning as everybody on his team was always open. In all honesty, it was just too easy for him. Mario Williams broke away for another play to add to Patty's stats, and his six touchdowns made him a Heisman candidate, so now completing all seven of the video's challenges was looking likely, but there was still a lot of work to be done because until the job is finished, anything can happen in college football. The following week, two and four Wisconsin wasn't giving him any worries, and Patrick Mahomes just continued to do whatever he pleased against them. It was just another game where he could put up incredible stats, and he threw for six touchdowns with ease. Fast forward to the last game of the season, he was playing USC's biggest rivals, and he had to end the regular season with a bang to increase his odds of winning the Heisman. He had a pretty solid performance, going for over 300 passing yards and five touchdowns in a rivalry win, which had him sitting at a 98 overall, so to get to a 99 by the end of the year and complete the other challenges, there was no room for error against Penn State. He started the game with two touchdown passes and he just continued to throw for more and more, which got him his second straight conference championship, but unfortunately no Heisman Trophy. I have no clue how he didn't win with these stats, but it would ruin the completion of the challenge, so after the college football playoffs, I'll be giving away a Patrick Mahomes jersey, and in the semifinal matchup against Miami, he was playing with an edge because 
because he knew that he deserved the Heisman Trophy and he was still snubbed from it. Against the Hurricanes, his team's defense was not playing well, so with four minutes left, the 14-point comeback had to start, and that's exactly what happened. It almost seemed too easy for him, as within just a couple of minutes, the game was on pace to be tied up, and he even broke Joe Burrow's crazy record. On the two-point conversion, though, he couldn't make the throw, so he had to watch from the sidelines on third and seven as his team couldn't get him the ball back, and this career replay ended up being unsuccessful as Mahomes left for the draft a year early. I was only able to complete four of the seven challenges, and if you want to enter his jersey giveaway, all you have to do is like the pinned tweet on my Twitter and follow me on there, so good luck.